There are calls for an Australian ban on two video games accused of promoting terrorism. One of the games features Palestinian fighters shooting Israelis outside a mosque. Senior reporter Caroline Marcus has this exclusive story and a warning that some viewers may find these images distressing. Israeli soldiers gunned down outside a Jerusalem mosque. These players are trying out the latest game on leading gaming site Steam. Tufan al-Aqsa is described as a shooter game about protecting Palestine. Kill the enemies faster, finish all levels and free Palestine, it says. Anti-Defamation Commission Chair Devir Abramovich is sickened. This is radicalization, incitement to violence and recruitment to terrorism by stealth. A second game soon to be released features a hero called Jihad, attempting to save his sister from Israeli airstrikes. Dr Abramovich wants the government to make sure neither game can be played here for fear it will inspire violence against Jews. Anybody else who's allowed this game to be sold, to be downloaded or to be played in this country will have blood on their hands. Both games were made by a Palestinian-Brazilian developer whose prior work has featured Palestinians seeking revenge on Israeli soldiers. He's previously defended his work okay, as no uh, more violent sorry. than popular titles like uh, Mortal well, Kombat and denied they could incite terrorism. In this game, we are the heroes because I want this game to show to the whole world that we Palestinians have the right to resist against oppression, that resistance is not terrorism. The US-based website boasts more than 2 million Australian accounts. It's previously been hit with a multi-million dollar fine for breaking the law here. A spokesperson for the classification board said the new games had not been classified here, meaning they must not be made available to Australian players. Caroline Marcus, Sky News, Sydney.